everyone. I just finished filming a top spring lipsticks video, uh, spring summer, whatever, and I thought I'd continue that on with the rest of my makeup. I'm more into lip products than anything else, I would say, so that's why I did a whole video based on that, but everything else is going to be under this one. And yeah, these are just some of the favourite things I like to do with my makeup in the spring and summer, mainly the summer now because we're nearly out of spring. Um, I'll start with a base. So my favourite thing to do in spring and summer is to not wear foundation. And this is like a recent thing. I didn't. I kind of started doing it a bit last year. Before that, I was like in the foundation constantly because I had really bad skin. I had like acne and all that really bad stuff. And like recently, my skin is better. Like I have got scars. But you can't really see on camera, but like in real life there is scar around here, which you can see now. Like, because I've been using a lighter base, and I've just kind of come to terms with the fact that they're there. And my skin isn't perfect, but I don't want to suffocate it and look keep in makeup, which sometimes I think I can look when I've got foundation on. And I kind of prefer the more natural look in summer, so what I use instead is a kind of tinted moisturiser. And the one I use at the minute is Origins Vita Zing. This isn't like a full tinted moisturiser, this is like, I don't know, like, a tinted moisturiser is heavier than this, I find. I find this to be lighter than a tinted moisturiser, which is like more foundation-y than this. This is just like a moisturiser, but it's got kind of like, it's like brightening, and it's got some coverage in it, but only the like tiniest bit, it's more like a tint. It it's calls it a sheer release tint on here, like, it goes on, pardon me, it goes on grey on your hand and then you on, on your skin and then you rub it in and it kind of releases the colour. And yeah, I find that at the minute is that's all I've got on now is my coverage. And I find that to be enough coverage for me at the minute. And I'm really enjoying it and I prefer the foundation, so yeah. And it's got SPF 15, which is great for summer. I'll move on to the rest of the face now. Um in summer I like to use a like brighter blush in winter I prefer like like a more matte more like muted tones kind of blush and in summer I prefer a brighter one so some I've got here first is a MAC one these are just a few examples and it's a spring sheen the light is probably not going to let us see it properly but it's just a lovely I haven't got a wipe to wipe my finger but I'll show you anyway two seconds I'll go and get a wipe <laughs> just, where's it gone, a lovely peachy colour which has got sparkle in, that's why it's a sheer tone shimmer blush from their selection, they've got different types of blush at MAC and that's a sheer tone shimmer one so it's meant to be sheer, more sheer and more shimmery than the other ones, you haven't be able to see it there, these swatches may be a waste of time but I'll try anyway, so I don't know if you can see Nah, we're not going to bother with swatches because they're not going to work. But yeah, it's a gorgeous peachy shade and I find that to be like the perfect kind of shade for summer, especially with a tan. And yeah, so I like that for powder blush for peach ones. And for I've got a cream blush that I use as well, which is Gemma Kids uh, Makeup School's Paw Paw Cream Blush. And that is another peachy one. This is a different kind of formula to the MAC ones I find because the MAC cream blushes are much more creamy whereas this one's like harder, like tougher. But it is really pretty and yeah, gorgeous. I think these can look a lot more natural than the powder blushes, especially in the summer. Like, seeing as I'm not wearing foundation, it's like a more dewy look. And I think this can add to the dewiness and look really natural. So that's nice. And for an even more kind of natural peachy colour, is a tint like the benefit cha cha tint i've only got a tiny sample they're meant to be in like a bigger bottle and they are quite pricey but these are really nice um a lot of people have trouble with these i'll have to show you first it's just like a little nail varnish thing and you just dab it on and rub it in and you have like a really natural stain to your cheek and it's not like sit products sitting on your face it's like stain your face which when i wear foundation that can be quite problematic because if it's so wet it like see, like moves the foundation around on my face if I put it on top of my foundation but 
seeing as I'm not wearing foundation, I can wear these fine and it won't have any problems. The only problem people tend to have with this is that it dries quickly, so when you've dotted it on your face and then you rub it in, it just leaves dots smeared on your face. So to avoid that, I use a powder brush, like the e.l.f. powder brush. I'll show you. Oh, I use this brush, which is like £3.50 from e.l.f., which is a website. Um, yeah, and all I do is I'll take this lid off and smear it up a little bit on there and then just buff it straight into the face. And that stops any of the little dots from falling on your face and just looks way more bit, way more natural. So they're the peachy tones. And then I do like to use some pink ones. I'll show you the few that I'll take on holiday with us. These aren't pink actually, just ignore that. These are the two of my favourites. This isn't, this is dandelion. These are from the Benefit like box powder collection and they do like these in different variations like at Christmas and stuff. This is one from a few years ago called Powder Time Lover. And the ones I love from here are Coralista, which I don't know if you're going to be able to say, but it's a gorgeous like corally colour. This is all I need to take for blush and wear holiday because I use Coralista and I use Dallas. And this one's like a ready, not red, but like a more brownie toned bronzy kind of blush but it's not a bronzer it's definitely got some pinky browny tones in it but they're both gorgeous for summer and I really want the full size of both of them because I love them but that is enough for now for me um yeah and another one that I really love for summer is Bella Bamba from Benefit and this is the more pinky one I was talking about it's a gorgeous pinky colour and it's really shimmery it's called like a 3D powder because the shimmer kind of is meant to look 3D but it does kind of give that kind of effect. I can't explain it until you try it on, but it does have some like strange but really pretty effect on your face. And it doesn't look too shimmery, like scary shimmery. But for what I love the box, it's just amazing. Wowza. <laughs> yeah, love that. And that's another one that's perfect for summer, I think. And then last but not least is this blusher, which is NARS Orgasm. Which I don't know actually, I'm not sure if I like this, but if I did, if I do decide to like it, it's perfect for summer. I, it looks like this. I've got the bronzer here, which I'll talk about in a minute, and this is the blush. I don't know again if you're going to be able to see it at all. But the problem I find with this is, is that it is a really pretty colour, but the shimmer is just crazy. Like if I put this on and then go outside and look at the mirror when I'm outside, I look like I've got glitter stuck in my cheeks. and. I don't know if that's going to grow on us or anything, but at the minute I'm not really enjoying it. Um, next for face is bronzer, and that's why it's right here, and that is Laguna by NARS. And even though I've only got this tiny little amount of it, this is definitely my favourite bronzer. I only needed to use it like two or three times before I just came to that conclusion that this is my favourite and I need the full one, which I don't have yet. But yeah, that bronzer is very good like it's not orange and it's just amazing and yeah you've heard all the reviews so I don't need to do that myself but I love a good bronzer in the summer time and it depends I can use it two ways and I really enjoy it sometimes I use it like on the tops like across my forehead down my nose a little bit on my chin and on the tops of my cheeks to give like a sun kiss look because that's where the sun would hit but if I wanted to contour I'd do it like like everyone contours like in here in the cheek or inside on the hollows and then up a little bit around the temples and then a bit under here and either way that's really like a really good product to do that with because it's not like orangey and it's not really muddy and I don't find it easy to go overboard with it things like the bourgeois chocolate bronzer it's pretty and everything but I very easily go overboard with it and not like years ago like two weeks ago I guess still so I remember my card ran out and I'll work a slightly different angle now that's a bit better. Yeah, so I finished with bronzer. Next is highlighter, which is something I find to be really essential in summer, actually. Like, I love the dewy glow look in summer, which I'm kind of bypassing winter and just deal with looking a bit matte, and I'm generally less bothered in winter about stuff like this. But in summer, I really like a good highlighter. And the one I use at the minute is this one, which is Gemma Kid Makeup School Dewy Glow All Over Radiance Cream in ice gold and yeah the rose gold one looks really pretty actually but i think it's a bit too rosy for my skin tone whereas this one is perfect because 
no matter what I try to do, I'm always a bit pale. A bit paler than the normal person. And yeah, I'll try and show you. I don't know how that's going to show up, but if I put a bit on now, this is all I do to put it on, literally, I can do it without a mirror really. But all I do is rub it, rub my finger in it, and just rub it on my high points on my face, which is like generally in the C section. And you can see, like, it's gonna look a bit crazy and like shiny in the camera, but it adds that glow, which in normal lighting just looks really pretty. And just a little bit down here of what's left. And yeah, absolutely love it. And because it's like a cream, like some some powder highlighters, I think, can look a bit powdery and just like glitter sat on your face. Whereas this kind of like looks like it's sunk in, and it just looks like it's coming from within, which is really cheesy, but. Yeah, absolutely love this and wouldn't be without it now. Um, now eyes is the last thing. I haven't got any mascaras to talk about because they don't vary too much for me. But uh, one eyeliner I do like to use is coloured eyeliner. Um, and I don't really use that in winter, but yeah, I don't really vary much from black really. But in summer I'm more into browns, which I haven't got a brown with this, but I'll deal with browns more in <laughs> summer and um, but blue blue is something I do more in summer and I'll show you this one this is Avon mega impact eyeshadow in cobalt and it doesn't look very blue there because I don't like anything too crazy like colors on the eyes but this is just the nice difference between black and a bit boring and blue in summer and god it still looks black but I promise you that this is a lovely royal blue colour. And yeah, I just think it makes a nice change and I can use a bit more colour in my life in summer than I can in winter. So yeah, that is a gorgeous change for me from black for the summer, which I don't use every day, but I do sometimes. And something I do really love in summer for eyeshadow, again, with the dewy look, is like, paint, like cream eyeshadows. And I've only got these three. But I love them. The first is a MAC Payne Pot, which is a vintage selection. This is like Bustles Limited Edition, but it is a gorgeous champagne colour. And I use this as a base like all year round, but and it's like a really good base. But I like to use it on its own, like in the summer, just for the daytime, because it just gives like a lovely colour, a lovely sheen for the eyelids. But it doesn't look like you've got loads of makeup on, it just looks carefree and really nice. And I absolutely love it and I wouldn't be without it now and the other two I've got are Benefit Creases Creams and it took, I took a bit convincing with these for a while I wasn't too into them because the first one I got was this one which is sipping and dipping and it is a gorgeous summery colour but sometimes it doesn't suit us and I really need a tan with this because as you can see it's kind of an orangey colour like a peachy goldy colour and on my skin tone as it is now like pale me um, it can wash us out a bit and like the orangey around my eyes it does bring out the blue of my eyes but it does nothing for my skin tone so I really need a tan with this um, but the other one is skinny jeans which I've yet to use properly but I know I'm going to love it I've tried it once just when I was in the house and it was really pretty and it's this grey like toby grey colour it's so pretty and I'm going to use that a lot for nights out in the summer just like smudged over my eyes and it's going to look so pretty and yeah the cream eyeshadows are definitely a must, most for me for summer and then powder eyeshadows which are just what I normally go for I'm just going to show you some of the colours I normally go for out of my MAC palette, my makeup palette for sort of my makeup palette because you've seen it all before but I just want to show you some of the colours that I love for summer um yeah so Virgin is a really good over highlight colour and I use this a lot on the inner corner especially in summer and the other two that I really love for summer are Half Baked and Smog together. This is Half Baked and it's gold. And again, I can't like pull off gold in the winter, but in the summer I find I can. So that's why I love that. And Smog is a really nice like crease colour to go with Half Baked. Um, yeah, they're really good for summer. I like the more golden, like warm brown golden shades in the summer because, like I've said, I can't pull warm tones off in winter. So they're really nice for summer. And then my back palette, um, hmm. right, I like Sumptuous Olive, which is this green one. I'm going to do a proper post on this, so don't worry. I will do proper insight into this later, but 
like I say, I like, I like colour more in summer and that includes sumptuous olive, which doesn't look too colourful here, but it is like green. And then I've got this one, which is mythical, which I love, which is like a ready colour. It's not going to show up properly on camera, but it is a ready colour, which is much nicer in the summer. And then two more that I absolutely love in summer are Woodwinked, which is this one, which is another kind of goldy colour, which again, I can only pull off in summer and all that glitter has, which is perfect for an all of a lid colour, which I do a lot in the summer with just like a flick of liner because I can't be bothered with anything else. So yeah, all that glitter has is perfect. And I love them colours for summer. Right, um, that's about it. I want to do some more spring summer posts. So I was thinking about doing like a tannin routine or like what I use on my body in the spring and summer to make it the best it is rather than hiding it away in the winter. So yeah, sorry, I'm clicking. And I was going to do like try and do like a fashion video. I'm not going to do a lookbook or anything because. I am not, as you can see, I am not exactly the most fashionable person in the world, but I will try and do something to do with what I will take on holiday, like clothing wise and stuff. And a nail polish video, I need to do a spring summer nail polish video. So I'm going to stop rambling now and let you go, and thanks for watching if you got all the way at the end, and yeah, see you later, bye! <laughs>